do it! <laughs> Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome to part two of my How to Become a Comic Artist series. Now, I know before, in my previous video, I said that this would be a two-part uh, series. I changed my mind. I think this will be either nine or ten parts. I'm not exactly sure how long, because when I actually broke it down to the parts that you need to know to become a comic book artist, there's a lot of parts to think about, okay? So, and uh, there's a lot to go through, so I'm just gonna chop it up into little sections. And today, I'm gonna talk about something really simple, and that is work hard. Work hard! Yes, you should. Work hard. What did I say? Work hard. Like, I hear that all the time. I, of course I know how to work hard. Do you really know how to work hard? Do you really? Let me ask you that question. Who is one of your favorite comic artists out there? Mine, my personal hero, is Jim Lee. Okay, Jim Lee is one of my favorite comic book artists of all time. But the thing is, he just didn't take some scraps, put it together, and got a job right away. Jim Lee had to work hard at it. Jim Lee, right when he was done school, woke up first thing in the morning, drew till like 10, 11 o'clock at night, not stopping, did that every single day for at least six months. He wanted to prove to himself that he would be able to handle the schedule. He wanted to prove to himself that even if he did get the job at Marvel, DC, wherever, that he would be able to maintain that schedule. Right? So it's more than just coming up with one or two or three pretty little pictures and expect that's enough to get me in the industry. When that's not the case. You got to improve your work ethic and you got to improve yourself. There is no artist out there who is a finished product. There's always room to improve. So you always have to ask yourself, even me myself, to this day, I have about 17, 18 experience in freelance art and in uh, visual art, right? There's always things I need to improve on. The same with you. You gotta find your voice. And how are you gonna do that? You gotta work hard. Hard, hard, hard. Whenever you can, grab that pencil, grab that paper. That's gotta be like your knife and your fork, okay? Everywhere you go, you should be sketching. You should be drawing everything, okay? Not just those pretty pictures, not just a Wolverine or any Marvel, DC, Suicide Squad, whatever you want to draw, no. Draw every single thing and get better at drawing every, every single thing. Look at a lot of artists, not just one style of art, every style of art, and see how you can incorporate that into yourself to make you better, okay? And don't be satisfied with how your art is right now. Your mom might like your art, but that doesn't mean everybody's gonna like your art, okay? Everybody needs to improve, whether it be your perspective, your figure drawing, your composition, your layout, your storytelling, everything needs work. And how are you gonna get better? You're not gonna get better by sleeping. You're gonna get better by working. I'm not saying you don't, you're not supposed to sleep, right? You gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. Get some good sleep, but get some good work as well. Get those hours in. If you have school, work hard after school. If you have work, work hard after work. And all of that will come back to you in droves later on when you actually get a job, when you're actually in the industry. That will actually help you keep a job in the industry as long as you have that work ethic. Mark Bagley, amazing Spider-Man artist, artist of so many things. He's able to get done two to three pages a day. He works from seven in the morning to seven at night every single day except for Sunday. And then sometimes Sunday he works as well and he gets a ton of work done. Can you imagine that, three pages a day? That's a lot of money, especially at his level. That's a lot of money. And how is he able to do that? Because of his work ethic. That's the first thing you need to do. Improve your work ethic and you'll see the rewards come to you. Okay, well, look out for the next parts. There are more parts to becoming a successful comic artist out there. And I'm gonna tell you everything I know, share with you. And if you want to share with me your journey in becoming a comic artist, any way I could help you, please do let me know. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Tweet me your, your comic art. I'd love to critique them. I'd love to give you advice. Please tweet them to me or uh, send me through Instagram or tag me. I'd love to see them. I'd love to help you out. Please follow me. Please subscribe to my channel. And whatever topic you'd like to me, me to cover, please do let me know as well. 
My name is James. I'm the box office artist, and I'm here to say, keep drawing.